Hello guys and good evening ulit sa inyo lahat and welcome back to DPC 2023 Eastern Europe Summer Tour Division 1 Second game for our last series between Betfam Team and Team Spirit So Team Spirit sila yung nanalo for game number 1 and tignan natin kung mga kabayo pa ba dito yung Betfam Team For the second game Well for Betfam we're gonna have Bloodseeker and Odakel and for the side of Team Spirit it's gonna be Lich and Void Spirit So nagiging popular na talaga ngayon din Napapansin ko rin lagi nasa first place na lagi yung Bloodseeker Diba na-uso yung mga heroes na medyo mga spirit and yung mga universal heroes? Lahat kasi yun meron talagang. Siguro doon din siya naging popular, yung Bloodseeker. Kasi isang rapture mo lang yung Magnus, Wind Ranger, mga spirit heroes. Ten seconds ba, diba? remaining. Yeah, Bangle Year. Kasi diba yun yung laging mapick sa mid? So sobrang ganda ng Bloodseeker for this Five game. Five seconds remaining. Also denies the possibility na pwedeng kumuha ng Slark yung kalaban. So you don't have to ban that hero. But anyway... Para kayo support for pet um team, it's actually a good counter up against Leech. You have the Fortune Senna, pwede mo pang dispel ng Frost Shield. Natatawa ako. Hi, Kia! Carl? Sino yung caster? Si Shea. Anyway, we're just banning out mid-heroes. Mga hard counter up against the Void Spirit. So you don't have Kino Pain, Manning, Pangler, and even Ember. So but either... Already banned out as well. So ano pa bang hard counter on the Void Spirit? Parang wala na ibang main set. Parang Wind Ranger na lang yung nakikita ko mapick sa mid. Hi, Kiang. Hello. Pati kay Sahoragi. Hello ulit kay Wasabi. Ayun ako. So another chance is for the save. You have two heroes for Bedroom na merong sustain. 10 seconds remaining. Strong heroes din naman to. Actually, strong support din naman sila in terms of leaning. And for Team Spirit, is looking for their third pick. Third and fourth pick. So, this might be... Actually, pwede pala itong maging offing Bloodseeker. Depende kung anong plano ng bet mo. Nakalimutan yung name, Sherry, yung pangalan ko. Team Spirit's turn to pick. Tide Hunter. Well, for Team Spirit, it's gonna be another Tide Hunter. So, okay lang naman siguro if you're leaning up against Bloodseeker. Let's just say he has Rapture, pero Tidehunter is a very tanky hero. Hindi naman kailangan gumalaw talaga masyado yung place kasi sobrang laki rin naman ng rage yung Ravage. We're just looking for a pause for hero for a team spirit. Siguro hero na kayang gumalaw sa mapa since they have Void Spirit. Yun yung maganda dun. Kung hindi naman yung heroes ng Bad Boom, parang puro support lang naman talaga sa amin. Or sustain lang talaga yung habang nila. Hindi si hero. But actually, kung kung ng Templar Assassin dito yung Bad Boom. So, Templar Assassin, pwede rin itong maging mid if they want. I think mas better yata ito sa mid. And then Bloodseeker safe lane pa din. And actually, TA is a good counter up against Void Spirit. You're up against a mini hero. So, and then you must like armor reduction and then on the Void. But Skylight will be the fourth pick for Team Spirit. Five seconds so, meron naman tayong setup for the Mystic Flare. You had that Aether Remnant. But the problem is, meron tayong Oracle for Pet Boom. So, ito yung hero na kailangan talaga muna nilang unahin before going on to anyone else. Sun Page. Shen, wala tayong page team dito. Ano kasi itong kinakover ko ngayon? Eastern Europe. Radiant Team Ban. Team Spirits turn to ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Radiant Team Ban. Kumain ba ako bago mag- Sasha, kumakain pa ako. Patapos na to. Team Spirits, turn to pick. So, state win hero lang naman yung missing right now for Team Spirits. So, any other heroes na okay up against? Well, Seeker, MK. Ayun ba si MK? Ako pa si MK. So I think MK is actually a good hero for Team Spirit. Aside from MK, still have Naga. 
MK Naga or Sa. Remaining. Five seconds remaining. Puyat, lagi tayong pwede. Kaya hindi mo ba dapat ang bumet dito? Huwag. Hindi <laughs> ko alam mag na lang mag-bet. Puyat na naman ba? Hindi. Last series na kasi ito for today. Pag Western Europe lang naman masyadong nakakapuyat. Kasi Western Europe 9 to 6 a.m. yun. Pag Eastern Europe 7 hanggang alauna lang yun. 10 seconds remaining. So, Morphing would be the last week for remaining. Team Spirit is actually a good hero for this game. Wala naman tayong pambatay for Bad Boom. Wala silang kahit anong disable. Sa totoo lang, you only have Silence with Bloodseeker, Fortune Sense on the Oracle. Pero other than that, wala silang hard disable. Bet ka sa caster. <laughs> I know. So Doom hero. would be the last pick for Bet Boom team and uh thing that has happened for this game number one. So GPK Tempire Assassin mid is gonna be off lane doom. So while uh, looking at this kind of drafting, come shadow greedy in draft you can bet boom. We have Bloodseeker and Temporary Assassin. I don't know about Doom, kung ano magiging item build niya for this game. Pero kung kukuha man siya dito ng mga Midas or whatsoever, farming item, tingin ko masyado silang may slow down. Pagka ganun yung nangyari. I mean, you have Void Spirit for the side of Team Spirit na kayang gumalaw on the map. Nakita naman natin yung galaw nila with the Tide Hunter as well. Kahit nasabi natin you have a very long cooldown on your Ravage. He's playing around his teammates with his our items. Early groups yung ginawa din ni Collapse. So, I think the same goes for this game. Ten seconds remaining. So, yung magiging problema talaga di nila dito later on is Five paano nila ha remaining. hahabulin. Paano nila huhulin yung Void Spirit and yung Morphling? They only have Doom for Bet Boom. Parang isang Manta style lang. Wala ka ng problema on the Silence and the Bloodseeker. Same goes for the Oracle. So, I think mas better pa rin yata yung draft ng Team Spirit for this game number two. Siguradong panalo. Di mo sure. Kaya Charles Dura, Sherwin, walang Sherwin dito, boss. So, 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 yeah. Ngayon ko lang na-realize na sa Toronto Tokyo pala yung kalaban dito ng Team Spirit. Dating ka-teammate sila. I love winning! You know what I love? Everything. Hi, Kia Lazaro. Kia Lazaro, Jack. Kia Bildo Angelo, Kia Ralph Ruiz, Kia Jason Manalang. Lag ba? Di naman siya lag sa akin. Lag ba sa inyo? Sa akin kasi hindi.
Niwan na ang EC. Okay lang yan. Friends pa rin naman kami. So, looking at the Bounty Ruins, still 2 for 2 trade-off pa rin naman for this one. Si EC ay friendship pa rin kami. Nasa magkabe lang, side lang kami. Kakwento sa mamar. So, level 1 sideways for GPK and Larl is taking a lot of damage. Uh-oh. Friends lang, guys. Parang best friend ko na yun si... This one was always mine. Kasi yung maganda sa Templar Assassin, kahit na sabihin mong Void Spirit yung kalaban mo with that Resonant Pulse, nandun yung damage block or physical damage. Pero pag tinamayin kasi ng Side Blades, pure damage yun. So it doesn't matter. Ini-ignore nyo yung Shield Absorb. So parang wala lang din. For GPK, he just, need, he just needs to hit his Side Blades. And wala na siyang problema up against that Void Spirit. Wala nang love you. Easy. Very. Nakawala namang ganun. <laughs> Walang ganun. <laughs> now at the bottom lane, Fortune's Endless with Blood Right now it could be enough for Mira. Still has that healing self. Radiance Courier has been killed. So looking at the last hits, free farm naman yung doom sa top lane, same goes for Nightfall. Actually, parang yung 3 lane sito ng Betong, they're doing uh, good. Meanwhile, Larn is very low on HP, pero I think meron naman na siyang battle. So meron na siyang sustain, pabalik dyan sa lane. Tawang kailik. Ako oh, po, sin. <laughs> pero lumalabang lang, lumalabang lahat ng lanes right now, na bet boom. Did you think it was yours? So, wala pa rin naman tayong first blood for the game. So, already 3 minutes. And pure level 2 infernal blade up against Yatoro. So, may max HP to, diba? Tama ba? Yeah, max HP is damage. Actually, okay siya up against Smurf. Na lagi na convert into strength. So still doesn't have the Tivar, wala pa tayong extra skill for the team. Sinisan ako. Oh, wait lang. Mala. And now Nightfall. Sign to chase down Mira has another blood right and it's gonna connect for sure. One more right is all he needs, but it's not gonna go for the dive. And then Mira will try to go for the TP out, pack the safety lang naman. So, parang laging meron thirst na buff dito yung Blood Seeker. Since you're up against Morphling, na laging low on HP. So, medyo may hirap yung lane na to for Collapse. Don't run off. And now, Enchant on the Miposha plus the Scorcher. Well, uh, Pure yeah, changes yeah. targets. They want to go for a Tauro, but now Frosher yeah, okay. will be there onto him. Pure is kind of tanky, still has big charges. So, wala pa rin naman tayo makukuha ang kill dito for both sides. Pero last sila low, it favors Nightfall at the bottom lane. Kano nakabili si Nightfall? 500 MS. <laughs> so, parang pwede siya makipaghabulan anytime for collapse. And now, Fortune sent into Blood Ride. We're gonna have the silence on to collapse. And one more port. Actually, it's beautifying things. Wala siyang mana. Pero patay na sana si Collapse dun. Uh -uh. So 1k go lead for Team Spirit and the uh, fortification with you CPK wants to go for the dive onto Lar doesn't have any point onto the simulate yet. 
Meron Larl, I think meron, meron siyang boots. Okay, wala pa na siyang boots. Meron strike will connect, we had the thirst. They had the vision onto Larl. Well, well, just still on cooldown for 5 seconds. And now, first blood Fast will be given now. to Nightfall at the bottom lane. Mira goes down, finally it collapsed. Might be the next target, but we don't have any other spells left for these two heroes. Okay, golded for the side of pet boom. Now middle lane we had to say on it's not to slow down Larl and save with the rotation Larl doesn't have anything wala pa rin siyang point on to the simulate So that's your way out of already on the way None for you And now Doom on to Yatoro, he's on the, the top lane, so another solo kill. Another kill for Pet Doom, and six. Okay, network hit this time, and the uh, Bash Case will be the next target. So, si Larl doesn't have any HP, kailangan naman niya umuwi. Hindi ka rin kasi pwede mag-jungle, kasi nakikita ka ng Bloodseeker. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Conceal yourselves. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. The so 7k gold lead for Pet Boom and the uh, here they want to take down this bottom tier 1 tower. And looking at the network, they think they're going to heroes Dyer's for sure for Pet Boom. And uh, looking at the difference, 2k ahead. Actually, 2.5k gold yung ahead dito ng GPG compared to Larl. Sobrang yaman lahat ang kasi yun ang best boom pero we're still gonna take this tier 1 bottom tower. Man po ba si Nightfall? Yes, bumalik na siya ng safe lane. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower has fallen. Well, uh, for Petroom na ako naman sila ng trade on the tower, they managed to take this tier 1 top tower. So, 80 gold lead for Petroom and wala pa rin tayo na kung kahit anong team for Team Spirit. Radiant are scanning. So save just gonna go for Changers going straight for Orchid. New approach for save, Fain and Dragonlance, pero in Orchid, maybe to catch his void spirit. For GPK, he's getting close on his Desolator and for Night Hall already has my storm going for BKB and for pure. Still ban for my dash, no problem. Kung ganto sila kayaman. Meanwhile, for Team Spirit, they don't have anything yet. I threads, so I on the winning threads for Darl, congrats. Pero yun lang yung meron tayo dito for Team Spirit. Threads sa Facebook. Oh. 
Dyer's top tower is under attack. And at the bottom lane, save with that Twin Gates play. Vera gets caught behind the snow from the Thunderclap and Toronto also can take that kill. So 6 0 at 12 minutes and a 90 gold lead for Bedroom team. Sobran lahar ng network lead na meron sila. And Lara does have the shield rune, she needs to escape to be used on pure, but she's just gonna go for the lightning, he has the criticals from that extra deliver. But my Parsh guy is still gonna live, see him goes for Lara. We had the rupture, fortune sent for the follow up, and damage should be used to connect on the two heroes. Either ran and on the GPK, but the collapse still goes down. He was to be now, but he had the follow times on the GPK, and still can go for the right click on to Lauren. Well, Lauren, kinda tanky, never mind. Well, strike will be there. We had the desolator for that armor reduction and fortune sent. We still rich Lar, but hindi naman na magkahabuli to see I think the same goes for GPK. This one to go for the tier 1 tower, and after this one. I think they can be Groshan Dyer are scanning Tayo ng delay dito, of course. 15 minutes delay dito. What can you do sa Dota TV lang tayo nanonood? Well, uh, double damage will be taken by Larl, pero wala naman siyang kahit anong items. Pero they might want to try, so they have smoke. Meron naman yata sila smoke for sure. So they don't have any ravage, but they need to play around with the Skyrim Mage. Yun yung chance nila, either remnant into Mystic Flare. As long as walang Oracle, hindi ko kakayanin naman nila. Radiant or scan. The silence onto the Toro and Boom is used onto him. Chain Cross will be dropped, but we don't have any damage onto the Zero. So we have to face Eric to protect them. And they're still trying to go for a chase, but Ada Remnant connects onto GPK and uh, Marisham Blink might want to go for a jump onto Larl. Thank you. 
to 15 kay go lead for bet boom 16 minutes pa lang tayo into the game and it's going to light time so Roshan is up the on the top side <laughs> so uh, meron pa tayo arcade for GPK so sobrang bilis na itong Roshan na to for them ilang med strike yung pwede magpatang pag merong arcade I think apat yata abot yeah, so sobrang taas ang minus armor onto this Roshan so hindi naman to kaya contest ng team spirit even though they have ravage Lala naman sila magiging damage. Sobrang yaman talaga ng hilis nila ng bet boom. Dyer's top tower is under attack. So smoke play for the side of Team Spirit. We're gonna have smoke together with Void Spirit and Dyer. Uh, That's the chance to look for someone with that combination. But they have enough damage. 1.9k HP on the Doom. Even has 5. So Egg is not on the Doom. Kahit ano mangyari. So si Toronto Tokyo, I think she is the best target talaga for this combination. Dyer's top tower is under attack. <laughs> Radiant are scanning. But on this tier 1 tower, we still had ages for 3 minutes, so we pa have time for bed boom. Meanwhile, Team Spirit, well, they're trying to farm. For Yatoro, he already has his Manta Style and for Lord. Echo C, we're going for Manta Style on his next item. But it's been so long, and I think Lotus is the one who wants to buy Collapse. Well, Laurel at the bottom lane will be spotted out. Either of them will connect onto the creep Dyer's and uh, Laurel. That's how the Astral step in one second. And it's just gonna go for a TP out. But do we have the vision for the boom? Masyadong malayo. So, maapag TP out pa naman dito si Laurel. So, he's gonna be fine. Pero yung tower na dito already down to half HP. Fortification is up for Team Spirit. Kaso wala na sila ng tier 2 towers sa top. So, I don't think nagagamitin pa nila yung fortification. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Now Doom will be used on to collapse in GPK. We go for the backlines. Mrs. Flare will be dropped on the GPK, but still has the stages. Actually, complete the pressure. Still full HP. And now Yatoro doesn't have any mana left. Has to go for the wing farm out. So, si Mi Posh ka palang naman yun na matay for Team Spirit, pero. For Bet Boom, no, you know, Ravish, they can still try to take this tier 2 tower. I mean, they can just take this tier 2 bottom tower and then you mid after this one. Now Rapture onto Collapse, he can't do anything, he does have Ravage, but BDB is already used by Nightfall, so he's not gonna go for the Ravage in Lars. He's gonna get Silent Salt, Zero step for the side of Team Spirit, and so ready to help Zero at 21 minutes after each. Make a triple kill for GPK, he's not yet done chasing, he does have the double damage, they have the vision onto Yatoro. Pushback will be there on to Nightfall and they farm out. We never have a body to use. But doesn't matter. They still have this 21k gold lead. Grab it, but 21k gold lead at 21 minutes. 
times 2 nila lahat ng network na actually halos times 3 na halos lang Dyer's middle tower is under attack Zero legit. <laughs> Radiant Oscar. Legit mate. Wala nagagawa yung team spirit. Dyer are scanning. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. So we thought okay, it's caught at the bottom lane, they have doom and the chief push up above. Never mind the Mahadalan Talaga Matasin damage in a bed boom. So another huge fight for them. 14-0 at 23 minutes. We're just waiting Dyer's out maybe this second draw shot. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's top tower is under attack. And we watch this. will be the next target has the Sinister Skies, but it's not going to do anything. Nightfall will still take that kill. So, um, it's time for high ground. We don't need to wait for the Roshi. It's so much fun to see the heroes here. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Sobrang yawa ng heroes ng mga pet boom. Radiant's top tower has fallen. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Dyer's middle barracks are under attack. The fortification is still available for Team Spirit. Pero mo hindi niya tayo nagagamitan. So they're just gonna give this first set of rocks for pet boom. Well, Roshan, hindi tignan natin. Umaga, ba't ang mabubuhay? Hi, Kia David Maglasa. Radiant's top Hello. tower is under attack. Nakakaw na ikita ang kahit anong comeback potential for Team Spirit kung ganito kayama yung bet. Patapos nyo na lang yung ganito. Largo Sin and naglipat yung camera. Never mind, Ravage will be his own to two heroes. And now Fortune Sin actually bought Samus on to GPK and Steep. We still have the heal. We have the Fate Edic and Fury Finally. So to roll the tokens and Steep is gonna be fine. And Collab is gonna be the first to fall. And wala naman tayong susundan dito for Bet Boom. Wala pa rin silang makukuha ang kahit anong kill even though wala doon si Pure. Sa laban na yun, and Roshan, yun nga lang medyo matagal. 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Yung kailangan hintay dito ng Bet Boom. Oh, mighty money. Regeneration. Radiant are scanning. So smoke play for Team Spirit. They're baiting out this invis rune. Hinaman ka ng kaganda yung rune, pero wala sa bait na lang sila umasa. Well, Smoke will play finally and save will be spotted out. They have his face to his face to his face. Mr. Fair will be dropped, but a save. Still fine, we still have to run the token here to help him out. And Miposhka 
Siya pa yung mabibigyan dito with that smoke play and it's time for this spirit to disengage. 17 zero na tayo, 26 minutes. Wala pa rin tayo nakuha kahit anong kill for team spirit. I mean, kahit si save, ang hirap na rin patayin for team spirit. Wala naman sila masyado magic damage. Like from the Mystic there, and now Lar gets caught. We had the Silas and the Fortune Cell for the follow-up, but now Yatora goes in. Toronto Tokyo is going to be the first casualty for Bedroom and Yatora. We'll just go for the PP out. Ooh, uh. Oh, eh. Toronto Tokyo naman. Pwede na siguro mag-Gigical dito yung Team Spirit. Napatay naman na nila yung Oracle. At least nagkaroon sila ng score, kahit one. Kaya nga eh, pwede na nga eh. <laughs> pwede na yung pagkaganan na one kill ka na. Or baka hindi pa yung satisfying for Team Spirit kasi post 5 lang yung napatay nila. Well, doable naman tong Solo Tormentor for the Templar Assassin. And you share the crate. It will be given to the Oracle. Cute na yung kamak. Pawin na lang next game talaga yung ganta eh, no? Wala, parang... Meron naman silang catch on the Oracle. You have... For the dead. You have your voice spirit. Pero with this kind of fine time, flash enough time to take him down. So Roshan is finally up. So now you have a battle to finally end this game. The bottom lane, Yatoro gets caught. Has the Lincoln Spear, but Doom will still be there and force himself for the follow up. Lane of Destiny, and then. Glad na lang pang counter and the morphing engine now for Petro. So it's GBK, single for sale. He's gonna take this Rosh, AK Richie's onto GBK. And he has to stay to lose. Time for this final high ground push. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Radiance Middle Tower has fallen. Well, Mira goes down and Lars is gonna get silenced. He does have the mana so he's gonna be fine. Olaf still has his Ravage and Mira goes for the Dyer's buyback. This is the last team fight for Team Spirit. Dyer's top tower and fortification will be used. Radiant structures are fortified. Dyer's top tower has fallen. Well, Toronto Tokyo is going to be the target. Either then it will miss from there, but you do have the silence on Toronto Tokyo is just to heal. And Toronto Tokyo goes down again. Siya pa rin naman yung nababatay for best. Okay na, pwede na siguro yung tawag. Nakadalawa naman sila dito yung Tokyo. And Life Force still has it here, so it's going to be fine. 3 euros dead without the buyback. And uh, ano yung sinasabi ni Toronto Tokyo? Ano yung sinabi niya? Kailangan ko ng translation kung ano man yung sinabi niya. Well, that's it for our game number two. Kaya nito yung mga score natin 30 minutes na naman hindi nagal. Pero kahit naman nagal na yun. Sobrang one-sided talaga ng team. Para 6 minutes pa lang meron tayong 5k gold lead for Betong team. So I don't know what happened for Team Spirit. I think masyado lang talaga silang nahirapan in terms of laning. Hindi na tayo umabot sa point na makaka-recover sila for this game. So that's it for our game number two. We'll be back for the final game for this morning. Hi, the time is short break lang and kita kits for the last game.